Once you've got your jar packed, you're going to get some white vinegar and clean the rims and then put on your lids. Okay, we got our white vinegar. Take it out. Clean these rims real good. Make sure there's no fat or pieces of meat. That would get in the way of your seal. That's the biggest worry you got. You make sure your can seals. It's obvious when it doesn't seal. But then you got to eat that sausage or whatever you're canning, you know, within a few days because you're going to have to put it in the refrigerator or, or eat it then. And the whole idea of canning it is so that you can put it on the shelf and eat it later. Fingertip tight. Fingertip tight means when you put it on, you're not twisting your wrist. You're not straining. You're just putting it on. As tight as your fingertips will allow it to go. You don't need to add any juice. You can. You can put a broth in there if you want to. Um, the sausage will make its own juice as it cooks. So you don't need to add anything. You can add salt, pepper, seasonings that you want. Uh, personally, I believe sausage has enough flavor on its own. And when I'm ready to take it out of the jar and cook it in the manner that I want it cooked, or eat it if you're just plain old hungry and it's a desperate time. But if it's not, and it's just your average day and you're just eating some of your stock, some rotating stock, or you know maybe it's a lazy day and you didn't feel like really cooking too hard, you can just pull it out, toss it in a frying pan with a little butter, get it nice and brown, throw in some peppers and onions, voila, you got dinner. Now we've got our lids on, we're ready to go. It's a cold pack. We did not heat anything. I, I sterilized my jars, but I let them cool before I put the sausage in. So they are a cold jar. Cold jar goes in a cold canner. So you wanna take your canner, make sure you have enough water in the canner, you know, per the instructions of your canner. And then you're gonna put them in straight away cold. Okay, we've got our canner here. Cold water in here yet, not hot. Cold makes cold. You can see there's water, just so you can see. Uh, not so much, you're, you know, you don't wanna fill it too high, but yet, cause you're not water bathing. But you still need to have enough water in there that's not gonna all evaporate while you're cooking. All right, my canner already has a nice yucky looking water line <laughs> from where I usually start. So we're just going to fill it up. I can fit 11 pint jars in my canner. I try to keep, I can fit 11 jars in my canner. So I try to keep that in mind when I can things. I want to buy or have enough food so I can fill my canner. So I can use the full 11 pints or seven quarts because that's what my canner holds. All right, my cans are all in. As I said, I, it holds 11. And I'm gonna add a splash of vinegar. That keeps the jars from getting discolored. Like it gets this white powdery look and it just doesn't look nice. It doesn't hurt your jars, but it, it doesn't look nice. So we add the vinegar and then we put our temperature on high. We let this start warming up and we're going to put our lid on. Now we're just waiting for temperature. And there's the little Barker. Love of my life. My baby.
but he got to be in every video. So now you know who the culprit is. And normally, he's fighting with his sister, but not today. They're just chillaxing. All right. We started getting a steady stream of steam uh, for about 10 minutes. So then we put on our weight. And now we're waiting for it to come up to pressure. Now, it, where I live, it's 10 pounds of pressure. That's what the weight's for. It's a jiggly weight. Um, we're waiting for that to come up to pressure. Once that comes up to pressure, then we will turn down our stove because we want to keep it at that pressure, but we don't want our little jiggly weight going crazy. If it's going crazy, it might end up siphoning out the juices um, from your canned products, so you don't want that to happen. And whenever you're canning meat, it's 75 minutes per pint jar, it's 90 minutes per quart jar. Um, I don't care what kind of meat you got, or whether you cold packed it or you hot packed it. it that's the rule. 75 minutes for pints, 90 minutes for quarts. Alright, we are at pressure. Let's see my little guy he's not wiggling jiggling going nuts he's just calmly hissing air keeping us at pressure pressure now you can also see my temperature has gone from high down to like four whatever that is so it's less than medium and that's like kind of my sweet spot where i'm getting the best pressure uh, you're going to have to learn that with your stove and with your particular canner. Um, the only way you're going to learn that is with practice. You just kind of keep lowering the temperature until you're a little jiggler. Your weight doesn't make noise anymore if you have that type of canner. Okay, our time was up. We pulled our canner off the burner and we allowed the pressure to come down slowly by itself. Once it got down to zero pressure on the gauge, then we carefully took off the lid and we pulled out the cans. And as you can see, they're extremely hot. They are still boiling inside there. And this, they'll continue to do that for quite some hours, actually, because uh, boiling temperature inside a vacuum is much, much lower than it is outside the vacuum. So it could continue to do that for quite some time. So it's actually going to continue cooking. But as you can see, I put no juice, like no broth, no nothing inside these jars. But there is plenty of juice and grease from the sausage. So it seals itself. And what we'll do is we'll wait till these cool tomorrow morning probably i'll wash them all down with some vinegar water on a rag and then we'll put them on the shelf